So how do we solve an equation with two square roots, just like this one here? Don't worry, let me show you. First, we want to make sure that one of the square roots is isolated. In this case, this is isolated, so that's good. So we can just proceed by squaring both sides like this. This way, we see that this and that cancel right away, and we just get inside, which is 3x plus 1. And then on the right hand side, 2 plus square root of x plus 1 squared. Make sure that we multiply it out correctly. And we'll be using the formula right here a plus b squared. This right here equals a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. This is much quicker. All right, so we take 2 and we square that, which is 4. And then we add 2 times this and that. So 2 times 2 is 4. And also this square root. And we have x plus 1 inside. And then the last term here is plus this square, but square square root cancel. So we just have x plus 1. OK, we still have this square root. So we will try our best to isolate this term here, here and then square both sides again. So let me move the numbers to the other side. That's minus 4 on both sides. So they cancel. And that's also minus the 1 here. OK, so we'll combine the numbers here. But this is a plus x, so that's minus x. So this and that will cancel minus x here. And now we will have this and that is 2x. And 1 minus 4 minus 1 is minus 4. And that's equal to this, which is 4 square root of x plus 1. OK, we have 4 times this square root. Maybe we should divide the 4 on both sides, but not really. Because if I divide the 2x by 4, we'll end up with fraction. So maybe not preferred it. So let's just look at this and square both sides. And do it carefully. On the left hand side, we'll be using a similar formula, but instead of the plus, we have the minus. So let me just write this down again for you guys. So if we have a minus b, and if we square that, this is a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. With that being said, we take 2x and we square that, and we get 4x squared. Minus, so this right here is minus, and then we will have a 2. 2 times 2 is 4, times 1 more 4 is 16. And lastly, oh, next. And then lastly, we add 4 squared, which is 16. And then on the right hand side, this is just one term because we have 4 times square root. So this right here, we don't have to do the things that we did here because we can just distribute the power. 4 squared is 16. And then the square root square, they cancel. So we just have a parenthesis and then we have the x plus 1. So technically here, this is just negative 6. This is just 16 plus 16. This is just 16x plus 16. There. And then, of course, let me just write this down again, and we'll move things around and then solve it. Check this out. I will subtract 16 here, so that way we can get rid of the numbers. And then that's also minus 16x. That's minus 16x. And we will have this, which is 4x squared. And then minus 16x, and then minus another 16x. So that's negative 30, minus 32x. And this and that is 0, so it's out, and we have it equal to 0. Here, we only have two terms, and this is equal to 0. That's factor out the 4x. So we will have 4x. And this right here will give us an x. Minus 32 divided by 4 is 8. And the x is out already. So this is what we have, and that's equal to 0. And then, Right here, 4x, you put it equal to 0, and then you put x minus 8 equal to 0. Divide both sides by 4, x is equal to 0, and, and then add 8 on both sides, x is equal to 8. OK, be really, really careful. Mm, do we have two answers or just one answer? In fact, we only have one answer. x equals 8 is the only answer. This right here does not work because when we have square roots, it's tricky, be careful. If we put a 0 into this x and x, 
original expression, we get square root of 3 times 0 plus 1. We have to check if this is indeed equal to 2 plus square root of 0 plus 1. On the left hand side, 3 times 0 is just 0 plus 1, so it's square root of 1. On the right hand side, this is 2 plus, this is square root of 1. But this is 1. This is 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. No. That's why this is a false answer. This is the so-called extraneous solution to our equation. And whenever we square both sides while solving a square root equation, this kind of things might happen. So be really, really careful. And I will tell you, if we put 8 into here and here, let's do this real quick. 3 times 8 is 24, plus 1 is 25. Square root of that is 5. Put 8 in here. 8 plus 1 is 9. Square root of that is 3. 3 plus 2 is 5. So 5 is equal to 5. So this right here indeed checks. This is the only solution. Eh? This is the only solution. So be really careful and... Yeah, good luck.